welcome to Class Racing Today's Flash News. It is Monday, June 21st, and we had an exciting weekend of racing. We had the 6th Annual Badger Classic brought to you by SeaTech Manufacturing that included a stick shift challenge and 5000 to win on Saturday, but unfortunately got rained out on Sunday. We had Division 1 at Lebanon Valley Dragway in West Lebanon, New York. We had Division 5 at Morrison, Colorado, Bandemir Speedway. Let's go over a couple of the results, shall we? So the stick shift challenge at the uh, SeaTech Manufacturing Badger Classic was won by Mr. Brad Zaskowski in his GTL uh, 87 Camaro stick shift. Brad's a terror. You know, I like to joke around with him and say uh, he'd be in trouble if Fazio was there, but, I mean, let's be honest. We all know I was kidding. Um, the 5K was won by Mr. Brad Halgard. Okay, he was driving a GTI automatic 2009 Dodge Stratus, and he took out Mr. Glenn Demange, if I'm pronouncing his name eloquently and correctly, probably not. Uh, he had a double-A stock automatic 69 Camaro. So, a uh, good race. Almost heads up 10.07 to 10.02 uh, were the dial-ins. And like I said, Sunday was rained out. Uh, the Race of Champions was actually won by Jason DeForest in his GTC Automatic 2005 Cavalier. Uh, so congratulations, Mr. Jason DeForest. He is a killer driver as well. Let's over, head over to New York, Division 1, Lebanon Valley. Mr. Anthony Fetch in his G-Stock Automatic 69 Camaro, uh, sponsored by PC Richard & Son. Got the win over Bob Vogel in the K-Stock Automatic uh, 1981 Chevy Malibu. So, way to go, Bob Vogel, and congratulations to Anthony Fetch on your win. Anthony has many wins. He is a killer driver. I, uh, I did beat him one time, and hopefully I never have to race him again. Super Stock. Well, who'd you think? Brian Warner, right? You know one of the Warner brothers is, is going to go far, and Brian in his Super Stock J Automatic uh, 90 Camaro. You know, there's Warner Brothers, it could be Super, Super Stock J Automatic, it could be GT, it could be this, it could be that, 87, 1990. This week it's a 1990 Camaro, an IROC Z. For some reason, that was my sister's dream car when we were growing up back in like the late 80s. She always wanted an IROC Z, um, in early 90s. He took the win over TJ Boucher in the GTG Automatic, uh, 97 uh, Firebird, Firehawk. So, way to go, TJ, and congratulations, Brian Warner, picking up right where he left off. He's number one in the world last year, and he is number one in Division One as of right now. So, congrats. Uh, heading over to Colorado, Division Five at Bandemir. Scott Burton, the former uh, Pontiac man, is now driving a 2010 Cobra Jet in factory stock C. He got the win over Dwayne Scheitlin. In a stock automatic, uh, 1970 Challenger. That is a sick, nasty car. Uh, so congratulations, Scott. Now, Scott almost doubled up. Uh, he lost to Tyler Wadarzik in the final of Superstock. So in Superstock, Scott does drive a Pontiac, uh, formerly an East Coast uh, Pontiac. It's a 1991 Firebird in GTG automatic. And Tyler Wadarzik, who got the win, uh, drives Superstock J automatic 88 Camaro. So funny enough, two uh, Superstock J Automatic, uh, slower cars, I guess you would say, for Superstock, and they both won. Brian Warner and uh, Tyler Wadarzik, both in Superstock J Automatic Camaros. So congratulations, fellas. And um, before I, I go, I just wanted to rattle off some of the results tonight, but we have a couple uh, key rounds that I have right in front of me here that I just, I, when I saw them, I, I just had to share with you. Uh, all three of them are from Lebanon Valley. And uh, second round of Stock Eliminator, we had a heads-up between Bob Vogel, who was eventual runner-up, and Lee Zane. Lee Zane has a, uh, a 72 Buick uh, GS, I believe. Don't quote me on that. I don't have that right in front of me. I know it's a Buick. Um, Lee likes to run about 1220s, 1230s in bracket mode. So when this heads-up popped up, I was like, man, I want to see what Lee can actually do. And he stepped it up. He had a 008 light. He went 1182 with a 9 at 109 uh, miles an hour. But Bob Vogel was just a little too much for him. Vogel was 91 on the tree but went 1169 at 109 miles an hour. So Vogel going 95 under. Lee Zane going 82 under. And Lee Zane headed to the lake house. So way to step it up, Lee. Nice light. Uh, congrats, Bob Vogel. Now, um, in third round of stock... 
Lauren Kanuik in the O-Stock Automatic uh, Pontiac. I believe it's a 77 Pontiac uh, Grand Am. She had to face Allison Dahl. That is, that is a tough, tough matchup. Every time anybody has to race Allison Dahl, I'm sure they do not look forward to it. I know I don't. Um, so Kanuik dials a 1250, cuts an 018 light, and goes 1251-1 on the 1250. Allison Dahl cuts an 031 light, runs dead on her 1050 dial. She goes 1050 with a 7 on a 1050. And Lauren Kanuik gets the win by a few thou. So... That's a congrats, Lauren Kanuik, on what I'm considering one of the upsets of the week. However, the next round, I think, is the upset of the week. Stock Eliminator, round two at Lebanon Valley. We got Billy Neese in the D front-wheel drive uh, Chevy Cavalier. The thing's going 1550s. He gets paired up against one of the other biggest killers from New England in Stock Eliminator, Joe Santangelo. Joe Santangelo in the B-Stock Automatic Camaro. Joe's dialed 1057, cuts an 047 light, and runs 1055. Breaks out by two. Billy Neese dialed 1554, cuts a 007 light, runs a 1553 with a four. Breaks out by six thou. Joe broke out by 17 thou. Billy Neese gets the win, and that is my upset of the week. And with that, I am ending this episode. Congratulations on that run, Billy Neese. I do believe Billy Neese bowed out in the third round after that. He was triple zero in the first round, by the way. 007 right there, and I think he was about a 46 in the third round. So I, he, been, he might have backed off a little bit, but woof, man, Billy Neese, don't, don't take that front-wheel drive Cavalier lightly. All right, guys, that's it for Flash News. Uh, it's Monday, June 21st. We have an episode of Class Racing Today's podcast coming at you tomorrow morning, 8.30 Eastern Time. Stay tuned. We will be live on Facebook. I, just, I should say we should be live on Facebook. I don't want to jinx it. All right, so tomorrow, 8.30 a.m., Class Racing Today podcast. This has been your Flash News. Have a good night.